Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a test drive of some new products, new-ish products. Um, some of these I haven't tried out before. Some of these I have tested once, um, but they're all relatively new to the drugstore and um, I'm excited to give them a go. I have the new NYX Ultimate Palette. Um, I'll be using the bright one for my eyes. I have some Knit, uh, some Wet n Wild cream products for the face and uh, Wet n Wild metallic lipsticks. So, if you want to see how I put these to the use, uh, keep watching. We're going to get started with a little bit of primer. Um, since my skin is a little inflamed around my nose area and my chin, I'm going to take a bit of my uh, color corrector, which is the Physician's Formula Conceal RX, and I'm going to mix it in with my primer, which is the Murad Invisible Perfecting Shield. I'm just going to take a little bit of the primer and then just a tiny bit of the uh, color corrector, and I'm just going to mix it in together. Uh, I do this because then I can prime the rest of my face with the primer and then have like a color correcting primer in the areas that need a little extra help. And this allows me to not have four different primers and have more than one. I'll also be using the color corrector to spot correct anything that's not necessarily going to be covered by this little method here. So I'm going to take that and tap it in and kind of Good. Okay. So now we're done with the primer. We're gonna let that soak in for a second. We're gonna kind of. We're gonna take a step back and we're gonna look and see what needs to be color corrected. And I see just a few spots. I'm gonna take a tiny bit more of the color corrector and just really take it to those areas. Pat them in. Just to be double sure. Work them in on top of that primer just so we don't have to use a ton of concealer after we use our foundation. I'm using green just to cover up the red, but if you have a little less redness than I do, you can get away with yellow. Um, if you want, you can also mix this in with like a concealer and have a lighter thing. I like using the primer just because I have more widespread uh, redness than most people, so that's why I do it that way. So. We have that, so we're going to move on to our foundation. I am going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. It's the liquid. This is in the shade uh, 210. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be using a uh, Damp Beauty Blender. I'm going to take a bit of concealer. I'm going to take the concealer just down here, down here, just down here, down here, here. And I'm going to put it on my chin just where I need a little extra help. Um, up here, I'm going to stab myself with my hair club when I colored my hair. And yeah, it should be good there. And I'm just going to kind of work that in. Uh, I like. I look at concealer not as a highlighting tool, but more as a, I need a little extra coverage here and there tool. Um, if you like to highlight with your concealer, go for it. I'm not going to judge, but it's just not what I like to use it for. So, at this point, I'm just going to fully accept some of that redness is going to show through. What you going to do? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take some of the foundation and concealer mix on my beauty blender up on my eyelid. I am gonna prime it, but that's what we're gonna do for now. So we're good with that. Um, I'm gonna take a second, and I will bring you back for the blush and highlight. 
Okay, so uh, the first two products we're testing out today on our little test drive uh, thing is the Mega Glow Multi Sticks from Wet n Wild. They're part of their uh, summer collection. It's actually it's adorable. Uh, they're cream sticks. They said they can use your face, cheeks, eyes, whatever. I'm going to just take them for the cheeks. I picked up two of the three shades. One shade looked suspiciously orange, so I was like, hmm, what's not? So I have the shade Light Up My Hibiscus and Marigold Brown. Okay, so all the shades in their new collection are flower themed. I think that's cute. Um, this one's more of a highlight and this is more of a nice light blush, so that's how I'm going to treat them today. Um, if you are doing, if you're using this obviously on a uh, client, use a clean dual thread or brush to apply these. These are personal, so I'm going to just slap these on with right off the stick, so sorry. So I'm going to just take the uh, marigold round and I'm just going to kind of take it right up on my high points of my cheeks. I'm just going to kind of work it in. Dab it in a little. Try not to take off my foundation at the same time, but ooh, ooh boy, damn, okay, okay. It's a little stiff. Um, this isn't a review, I just want to point that out, I will be reviewing these at another time. So these are a little stiff though. What? Yeah, not so bad, not so bad. Put it on yours. Okay, I want to just rub this up behind my face, y'all. Okay, so that is the Marigold Round. I'm going to blend it out just a tiny bit. Work it into my foundation just a bit, just a bit. And I'm liking this, and I do like creamy stuff a little bit more just because it's nicer on dry skin. But this is a nice sheen. If you can get a little bit just this without putting like powder highlighter on top, which I won't do. It's safe. Not the okay. Now we're gonna move to the light up my hibiscus. This is more of a blush. On deeper skin tones, this obviously could pass as a highlight. Um, but my pale ass is not going to be able to get away with that. So probably just spade a spade, and we're just going to put it on our cheeks here. So I'm gonna iris it. There. Okay. That was strong. Go back and that is quite strong. Put that in and I'm going to take the beauty blender and blend that in. That is a bit strong. Cool. Oh. But it's really pretty. It's gorgeous. It's just pretty pigmented. Though I am living for this highlight shade. So, that highlight shade really reminds me of like Sin, or maybe Sin, but in a cream, which I love that. Okay, now we'll blend it in. Looking kind of good, kind of glowy. Just a touch more, I'm actually gonna use a brush for this. I'm using a Royal and Lang Nickel Flat Top Foundation brush. I'm just gonna brush a little on. In. Uh, always use synthetic brushes, you're gonna get a better application of cream products that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we've got that all blended in. Those are the first two products we're testing out. So, I liking that. I'm liking my initial thoughts on this, are really nice. A little stiff, um, pigmented. I'm gonna set it all with uh, the NYX. My HD finishing powder. My cat wants to assist me, but I don't want his assistance right now. Anyways, I'm gonna set it with the HD finishing powder from NYX. I'm just going to take my uh, giant wet and wild uh, powder brush in it. I'm just gonna and just tap it all over, just enough to set it, but not take the shine away. And we'll be good to go. As you can see, the highlight is still there. And, oh yeah, she's still there, she's still glowing. God, 
guys, I'm loving this highlight. It is really awesome. It's like, I think it's $4 for it or Walgreens. I haven't noticed my Walgreens like horribly inflates prices, but you know, $4 for it, still not that bad. Get on it. So, um, I'm gonna take a quick second and I'm going to bring you guys back in to do the owls. So onto the eyes, um, I'm not going to zoom you guys in too much, I don't want to mess with the zoom, but I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick. I don't really have to do much to them, maybe brush them through. I've been using the Etude House T Tint Your uh, Brows Gel, which is a peel off makeup. I will have a review for that, I don't have a demo, I'm um, sorry about that, but um, I will have a proper review. I left it on overnight, unlike some people on YouTube who only used it for 20 minutes. You know who you are. Um, but I'm going to just quickly run Nyx's brow gel through it just to kind of give it some hold. Um, not really much more you have to do with that stuff. You could easily just use a clear brow gel. Um, but um, my brows are, my hair is blonde, so I do need to kind of lighten it up just the hair. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do. I mean, before that's all I was doing anyway, but uh, with the, the brow like the, the tint near my brows thing. I already have the shape underneath it, so I really don't have to do anything. So I like that. Um, but yeah, not we're not gonna talk about that before. So this eye look, I have done a tutorial for this style and this technique before, but I really wanted to do it again in kind of a different style, so I'm gonna bust out a couple of uh, colors here for you guys. If I can grab just my brushes. And hope to God I don't grab the one that still has pink everywhere on it. So I'm going to be using the NYX Ultimate uh, Brights uh, Eyeshadow and Pigment Palette. I say pigment because there's two col three colors in here that are pressed pigments. That means uh, the FDA has not approved them for your eyes. I will have a review for this and two other uh, NYX Ultimate Palettes coming up soon. Uh, this one will be the first one going up because I have already thrown thoroughly tested this one. So this one isn't really a true play date type of thing. This isn't a true, true test drive, but I did want to kind of demo it for you guys. Um, so let's uh, do this. I'm going to first start out by priming my eyes with um, my, actually I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use this one. I can't find my other one. This is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, I was going to use my Wet n Wild one, but I don't know where it is. So I'm going to use Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It's a good primer, but um, the Wet n Wild, they have a Photo Focus Primer, which is uh, just the repackaged Fergie Primer. I still have it in the Fergie packaging. So there you go. I'm just going to put it on the lids. I'm going to take it on the lids. I'm just pat it in, and we'll be good. And now I'm going to tap that off. I'm going to pop it back in my face here. And now I'm going to take the other uh, shadow uh, ultimate palette. It was just nearby. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. I'm going to take a eyeshadow close to my skin tone. I'm just going to set everything. Set my eyeshadow primer. I'm doing this even though I am using a cream shadow just because. It'll make my life easier in about 10 minutes. Okay, not 10 minutes, but 5 minutes, so. This look is very springy, fun. Um, if you're going to like a spring barbecue, summer barbecue, this would be great because it's glowy, it's fun, it's easy, um, it's colorful. You could call it a festival makeup, but I don't, I'm not into that, so. But hey, if that's your thing, that's your thing. Um, so yeah, we're going to, I am going to take, I'm actually going to take that shadow palette again. I lied. I'm going to pop something into my crease real quick. <laughs> I'm going to take a crease brush. This is from Royal My Nickel. This is just a crease brush, a little red one. I'm just going to take a kind of a darker color. Just pop it into my crease real quick, just for some blending purposes. It doesn't have to be a transition color. We just want something. So it doesn't stain my eyelids. So I have that. I'm gonna take um, my knockoff color switch, which is just one of those hair bun things from the Dollar Tree. It works just as well. We're cheap. 
So I'm gonna take that same crease brush after I cleaned it off, and I'm gonna go in with this orange shade right here. I'm gonna take just a little bit. This one is not approved for the eye size, um, so please be warned. What it does is it stains the eyelid. That's why I put a little extra down. I don't want stained eyelids, but use at your own caution. I'm just gonna work it around, right around in here, and right around in my socket area. And I'm gonna bring it down and around. Don't worry if it's a little over and crazy. We're gonna blend her out. And I, like I said, I just grabbed that other palette for my base colors. You can use whatever base colors you want. This is just for the fun colorful stuff. So, yeah. Colorful, 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 colorful. Okay, so that's nice and in there. This is a very light wash of color. And we'll just take a clean blending brush. This is a Sigma E40. And I'm just gonna blend her out. working with oranges they can get a little funny looking I found working with oranges working a titch of pink in there um, helps if you're working with pinks working a titch of orange in there kind of helps give it a little dimension and not have it looking a little funky um, so we're gonna start working with just a tiny bit of the pink into that and I will be taking the pink right next to the orange again this is another shade that's not good for eyes but we're gonna take that I'm gonna take it on just a tiny pencil brush and I'm going to work it right around the socket here. Um, if you have a crease, unlike my hooded eyes, so you can do that. I'm going to work it right in here. If you go on my Instagram, I posted a rainbow look. And I used this uh, eyeshadow palette in it. I did want, I can recreate that in a, like a tutorial. It's really simple, and I can I can do that if you guys would like. So I put that pink in there, and I'm just gonna kind of buff it out with a clean blending brush. Just buff her in. I find that the pink gives a little bit more dimension to the orange without making it look like I don't know. It just helps. It just helps people. And then just on the outside edges here, unless you want it to pull out that part, I don't. We'll do that. And... All right. If you notice you have a lot of, like, if you have veiny eyelids and they're blue and they're showing through, you can take a peach corrector and put it underneath and it should be kosher. So, now, we're going to take, um, a shadow stick. This is NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Pots and Pans. Uh, this is actually my favorite Jumbo Eye Pencil because it's a silver. And we're going to work this right down on the lid. All over and I'm just going to work one eye at a time now put that to the side I'm going to take a Royal Lang Nickel Smoky Eye Brush it's got a nice bullet point it's great for blending out this shadows and stuff um these brushes are really great they're really inexpensive but they're really high quality now we're not talking like half a photo quality or matte quality but they're really good for the price. I find them better than Real Techniques and Eco Tools, um, which is saying something because now you can get them at Walmart. Um, before you can only get them on their website. I still recommend getting them on their website because they have sales on them often. So check them out there. So now we're going to take um, this gorgeous yellow shade right here, this bright yellow. That one's safe for the eyes. And we're going to take it on a flat shading brush. This is a uh, E55 from Sigma, and I'm going to just pack that shit on using patting motions because this stuff has fallout. And just it on, it on, it on. And I take that, and off my brush a little bit. Take my clean blending brush, and we're just going to clean up the transitions between just a little bit. And work that in. Okay, so now I'm going to take uh, not that brush because that one just fell on the floor. That one's out of the way. So I'm going to take a small er, brush. I'm going to take this small 
eye blender brush. And I'm just going to dip it back into that orange and a little bit of the pink. And we're just going to work it right above the, of the yellow, just so that the color is a little bit brighter. And... So now we're going to just blend it real quick. I'm going to take just a tiny, 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 tiny bit of the uh, little flat smudger brush. I'm going to take this dark mustardy color and I'm just going to smudge it just kind of right here in the other corner. Flip it in. To give it a little dimension, I'm going to go underneath and smudge it along and just on the other side. Yeah. So, just a little blending out, clean that edge out. If you need to, grab um, your neutral shade and off these edges just so they're nice and soft and I'm good. Take a shimmery shade of your choice. I'm going to take just a champagne one and pop it right into the inner corner here just to brighten it up and take a nude eyeliner into, I'm going to take a nude pencil and mascara and Finish up the eye. So uh, I scrubbed my lashes. I added Tarte's Lights Camera Splashes and uh, a nude liner in my eye, uh, waterline. I didn't really do anything with the bottom lashes. If you want, you can. Uh, I cleaned up around my lip line and added just a touch more concealer because it was starting to bother me. So uh, time to do the lips. I'm going to prime my lips just a bit. I did take off the lanolin I was wearing. Um, I'm going to prime my lips with the Urban Decay Ultimate Ozone Multi Purpose, Purpose Primer Pencil. And this is just to give us a nice smooth canvas. And I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Metallic Liquid Lipsticks. Um, and these are using, uh, this is in the shade Peony Express. Um, I noticed when I was initially looking at these, uh, the packaging and the applicator are exactly the same as the Jeffree Star ones. So that's nice. So they have that nice curved. So we're going to put this on and look. This is a really pretty, like, corally nude. I'm not a big fan of corals, but it has enough metallic frost that I can dig it. So, now take the hair down. Crop up my fingers through it. And there you go. There's the uh, finished look. If you uh, like this, Stay tuned, I will have reviews of everything uh, that's new on my face. I'll have reviews of the cream products I put on, the lipsticks, the uh, my shadow. Uh, I'll have a review of brow products. Uh, the brow products stuff will be going up soon, as well as the eyeshadows. Cream stuff within the next couple of weeks. I just want to give it a couple more tests. Um, lipsticks so far, I'm not so far no. um, Anyways. If you like this type of stuff, give it a thumbs up um, or hit the subscribe button so you can be in the loop when I do review these products. And you can give me a follow on social media at Feel by Makeup on 
Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also check out my blog where I will have swatches of this stuff and written reviews if you're not feeling like watching um, at fueledbymakeup.com. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.